This customer requested a money cake for her six-year-old niece's birthday. I love making these and I don't think I've ever recorded the full process of how I make my money cake, so I'm really excited to show you guys. She did drop off $300 for me to put inside of the cake. And the first step is to place each bill individually inside of a treat baggie. And then once they're all secured, I begin to tape each one onto the next one. And I do like to start with the largest bill at the bottom, so that could be the last thing they see when they pull the whole thing out. Once I'm done taping, I'm left with this large strip of bills. Then starting with the largest one, which would be the $100 bill, I tape that one onto a small wooden dowel, and then I just begin to roll the whole thing. Once I'm done rolling, I grab that treat box that I made in the beginning and I cut two small holes on each side of it so that way this roll can fit perfectly. And I do cut those sides of that lid just because now that we have the stick in there, it won't allow it to close. So I don't need those sides. I tape the box and then I cut a slit on that top window so that way the money can roll out. Next, I grab my crumb coated cake out of the freezer and I didn't crumb coat that top of the cake just so it could be easier for me to cut that square out. And I did measure beforehand, I put my box on top of the cake and then just marked where I needed to cut so that way I won't make it too small or too big. And it's a perfect fit. Now that my box is in there, I can finish crumb coating that top and then I can frost the cake. And before I begin to fully frost, I do like to tape a piece of small ribbon onto where the money starts just because it makes it easier to hide a small piece of ribbon as opposed to the full top of that money roll. And just as a side note, whenever someone orders a money cake, I do like to tell them that the serving amount will be much less just because I do take out a big chunk of that center of the cake. In this case, I did a three layer cake, so they still have that bottom layer to dig into. Once the cake is fully frosted in this pink buttercream, I add this unicorn image that I created out of fondant. I love how the unicorn came out. I freehanded this and I added the rainbow strands of hair as well. And then I add the gold horn. And then I place my fondant rainbow on top of the cake as well as my 3D clouds in front and that middle cloud is actually the one covering the ribbon she's going to pull. And last I add a whole bunch of gold stars to the top as well as all along the front of the cake. I add the birthday girl's name to the bottom and that's it, it's all done. I put it in my light box for some pictures and then I box it up. Now I did request a reaction video and she told me she would send me one and that it was okay to post. So I'm really, really hoping she does send that to me so I get to show you guys and I hope you guys like this one.